Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. Uh, I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers um, that have joined my channel lately. And uh, welcome back to all of you who have been with me for a while. I appreciate it so much. Um, today I've got a design team project for Artie Mays. This is a journal I've made using her kit, Asian Fusion, which is in her shop. And I'm going to put the link to that um, kit in the description box below. But before we get started, there's a couple of things I want to share with you guys. The If you've been participating me or following um, the Friendship Journal, because of uh, the circumstances that are going on, I've decided to um, postpone the drawing until the middle of April. I'm not accepting any more um, entries, but I am waiting on um, a couple of ladies have told me they've sent theirs, and because of everything going on, um, it's obviously been delayed. So I think it's only fair to postpone. I hope um, you guys aren't too upset about that. I think most of you will understand the reason why. When I know a date, I will let you know, but it's probably going to be around the 15th of April. Um, but we're just taking this you know, day by day, really. Um, the other thing I want to say is I have added some new um, journals to my shop. Those are kind of a pre-sale, um, so those are, will take me, you know, anywhere from 7 to 10 days to complete. But I just want to let, because I've had a lot of ladies contacting me saying there's nothing in the shop, and um, so I've added some journals on there, um, but just be aware that those will take a few, you know, probably anywhere from 7 to 10 days to complete. Okay, enough. Let's get on with this. Um, this journal measures about uh, 5 and a quarter by 7 and a half, and then it has got a about a two two inch spine on that um, and I've made all of this um, this isn't an altered book I've you know created this um, completely using chipboard and um, other materials uh, I've kind of <laughs> been morphing some of the things I've learned from Nick the Booksmith and Amity Bloom's course so there's a lot of different techniques in this, which is what I tend to normally do when I take a class, is just end up, um, you know, you pick up techniques from different people, and so that's how this one's been created. It's got a, a slight curved spine on it, um, and then it's got the, the layers that you're accustomed to seeing with Amity Bloom. So I have named this Memoirs of a Geisha, um, because I love that movie. Uh, I also love The Last Samurai. Those are two two of my top, probably top 20 movies. I love them. I tend to watch them over and over. Um, so the first one, I've got this metal uh, little handle here, and this will flip over with just a uh, tag in that little pocket. Um, and then this flips over again. You've got some lace here with a tuck spot, and I've backed that image to some fabric and lace. And isn't that a beautiful image? Um, yeah, I, I was so excited to uh, get to work with this kit. I It's been out for a while, but I just hadn't had time to... Um, to get you know get over to it and so I was really really glad when I got this I love the coloring in it it's so different from what I would normally work with as you know so you know there are some differences um, you will see with throughout but I love this page some writing space there and then that all closes back now on the back this time I did not add a flip because I wanted this image and this has all been sewn around as well the closure is um, sorry silk that keeps getting stuck there okay so here I've made a like a coin envelope and I've lined the paper uh, inside so you didn't have any white but isn't that a beautiful image from that kit and I've backed everything in this um, with tea dyed paper 
Um, so I've tried to not have any white showing. There, there might be a few bits here and there that are, but I have really tried to be conscious of that. And then here I've made this journal card and then just added a little tab that I made. So you've got a tuck spot behind here and then the pocket within that. This is uh, one of the altered... <clears throat> well, I did a little paper clip there. And then this is one of the mailers that I've got more left than I want to admit. <laughs> and then there's another journal card tucked in there. So I just took whatever what was left over from the papers and made that. And then um, that is one of the pages from the kit. So that flips over, or I mean, is held over the page with the clip. And then you've also got this little tag that I made in this pocket back here. So this could be moved um, throughout the journal. I just thought it would be nice to have the option that it could be moved. Um, oops, sorry, I've got that upside down. I thought that wasn't going in there, right? So there's a lot of writing and space in this. Um, I've added quite a few tags and journal cards, but um, kept it fairly plain. So there's still a lot of space that you could add more things. I've tried to do a lot of sewing in this. I mean, all of these. This is just a little pocket tag I made there, and then I've backed that image. These images come as part of the kit, and then I made a big, big tag there, and that's all been stitched around. Stitched around this. You get the um, tabs in the kit, which are absolutely beautiful. And then I've added this image. <clears throat> I love the, the fact that she's got so many of these little tea cards that have got the birds on them. So it is, and look at the papers, aren't they just beautiful? Um, this is an old notebook paper. I just folded it up, made another pocket. Like I said, I would say this is a fairly um, plain journal in comparison to, to what I would normally do. Um, but... It's still a very big one, and I don't know off the top of my head uh, how many pages are in this, but there are two signatures if I hadn't said that, and then this flips open. I just love the pages. I mean, I guess for me, because there was so much going on within the design of this, I just really didn't feel like it needed a lot, but there's certainly enough um, room that if you did want to add more um, embellishments you could because I've left plenty of space between the signatures so that it can expand even more. Um, here I've made a double pocket and then these are, you get the large jumbo uh, tag, uh, tags with this kit and I just love those. Such a beautiful, beautiful kit. And then just another little uh, journal card I made there. I've um, folded that over and stitched it so you've got a tuck spot there and then this is the jumble cards and I've backed all of those with tea dyed paper so you've got a lot of writing space there and I just clipped it in here with one of these um, aged clips. So this is um, the second signature this folds over again another pocket here I've just taken a lot of the papers and collaged them and then I've backed that, added some more sorry silk. And then um, just added this so that you could do some writing on here. And this has all been sewn around. So you've got another pocket within that as well. So you've got um, a couple of old, uh, well this is a tea dyed and that's an old notebook page. Again, another a pocket that comes with the kit. And then here I've made a flip over and then this is just a long tag using some of the papers. Yeah, I love this. The images are just so beautiful. I love this page. Another one of the um, tea cards that she includes. And then here, this is one of the envelopes that you get. 
And then inside of there, I've just tucked another um, bit of the notebook paper that you could do some writing on the front and the back. Yes, just a very, very different um, to what I, I normally, you know, I'm shabby, kind of the shabby or nature, but this just, when I saw this kit, I just thought it just looked like a really nice kit to work with, and I'm so glad that uh, I was able to do that. Um, this is just a, one of those <clears throat> six by nine envelopes, so you've got room there within that pocket, and then I made another pocket on the back. I love that tag, just beautiful. You get the lined papers within it, and then here I've just made this little. flap there and so you can do some writing and then I've held it in place with this little tag and the eyelet there and another beautiful tag that she gives you. Already made these kits are always really big and generous so you always have a lot to work with. Um, added this along the edge there just for some interest and then again there's the center of the signature. And then another tag here. Love that page. Just so beautiful. And then here is a coin envelope that she gives in the kit. And then we've got another little writing space there. Beautiful. So this is a double pocket here. And then I've got that little tag. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I backed all that. And I just made a little tuck spot here. Another flip out. And then just did some stitching around that. And then here I've just made another little notebook. So there is just a lot of writing space in here. And another little tag that's tucked in there. And then this is on the back, and so this flips over, and you've got another big journal card there that's tucked in. And then this flips over, and you've got two pockets here, and then I did a um, another belly band here, and that's all been lined with fabric, and I love that image. Just beautiful. And I've backed that with some tea dye paper as well. So that flips over. So that is it, guys. This is uh, Memoirs of a Geisha. And I am going to have this in the shop by the time this video is up. So if you're interested, you can um, go to my shop. The, it's, um, the link to it is in the description box below. And um, that's all I have to share with you guys today. Uh, hopefully I'll be back with some, some other things in the next day or so. I hope everybody is, is staying uh, safe and keeping away from all of the stuff that's going around. So hang in there guys and take care and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye.